Well, we had some sunshine break out today and the mild temperatures surging in ahead of our storm system, which is uh, moving on shore to the west here. You see snow in the Cascades, that rain coming inland, and uh, we'll continue to see the cloud cover increase tonight. And as I mentioned earlier, it's going to stay mild till midnight tonight. It'll be around 55 to 60 degrees, very mild, very much like uh, Saturday night was. And then we'll have this moisture come in. This is where the cooler weather is on the back side of this, but this atmospheric river is going to come blasting in from the southwest to the northeast, and we'll have a good soaking of rain in the valley and some snow above 5,500 feet. McCall, you might get an inch of snow, but it's probably going to turn over to rain. But just above the Long Valley floor, we're going to be seeing some very heavy wet snow coming on in. So precipitation totals look like this. The blue is a half inch or more, and we see that in the Boise Mountains. That's going to be good news for the snowpack. It'll be a nice boost. We'll get maybe one or two percent boost, maybe three percent a boost out of the snowpack on that end of the valley. One tenth to four tenths of an inch of moisture maybe even a half inch in some parts of the valley, uh, especially north of the interstate. So here's the snow. This is what the charts are showing in Long Valley. Again, uh, just low enough that we're going to be mild enough for rain showers, but on the higher elevations, 8 to 10 inches of snow between Tamarack and Brightridge Mountain. Great news for the ski areas for some late season snow, which would be quite nice for those higher elevations. And we look at the ski areas and we go all the way ahead here, going in and through spring break. This is through mid next week. There's a chance for more than a foot to a foot and a half of snow up north for Brundage and Tamarack. Less at Bogus Basin. This time of year it's tougher because the snow levels are so much higher. And then Pomerel and Magic Mountain, you see seven or eight inches of snow. The skiers forecast shows that surge of snow here uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then another surge over the weekend. And then possibly one of the computer charts, the European brings in another surge Tuesday and Wednesday during spring break. But spring break's starting here. And so skiers, at least you'll have some new snow and some really decent ski weather coming on in. How about the rain? There it is. It'll be a soaking rain. This won't be yo I'll walk outside in the rain. It's going to be pouring out in some places tomorrow morning, at least steady rain for the morning. And then there may be a brief break and then we'll have some heavier showers coming through, maybe even a thunderstorm during the afternoon. So steady rain in the morning, scattered showers later in the day. Southeast winds will probably settle down as the day goes on in the mountains. You've got to go above 5400 feet, but boy, uh, that's going to be some significant snow in the higher elevations, but everybody below 5400 feet likely seeing rain and even higher uh, snow levels further to the uh, south. So one to two inches possible for Stanley and Ketchum. In general, we've got rain and snow for the central mountains with those snow levels uh, again, uh, starting on the high side. So there's the rain for the valley tomorrow on Wednesday, 53. We start to warm back up with the mildest day coming in on Friday at 61 degrees on Friday. If you want to do some golfing, this is my pick golf day. I think fair conditions with a fairly light wind is the way I'm expecting it in pretty mild conditions. And then showers over the weekend on Saturday. Spring arrives Sunday with colder temperatures. And then we'll start warming up more dramatically next week as well. So get ready for soaking rain tomorrow morning and then dry weather through Friday.